Hi, hi, uh, TM5650, Technical Manual, Central Boiler Plans, Proof for Public Release Distribution Unlimited, Headquarters Department of the Army, October 1989. Or a little ahead of that. <sighs> Alright, Section 3, Operation. Section 1, primarily operating procedures, plan, operation, plan, operations could be satisfactory need for the energy is produced for the safely minimum operation expense. Operation expense include manpower, fuel, utilities, supplies, maintenance of the plant, and equipment. Proper daily inspection requires inspection, preventive maintenance, discussed in Chapter 5, maximum efficiency of operation requires the understanding of the basic principle, combustion, steam, hot water, regeneration, equipment, operation. Good operation makes the best useful um, use of facility provided while avoiding practices of the waste of um, fuel, steam, and utility supplies, man or manpower. 3-2 Standing Operating Procedures. The SOPs or Standing Operating Procedures should be prepared and posted in the boiler room. The Standard Operating Procedures should clearly indicate the sequence of actions to be performed for each unusual condition which could create a hazard or operational interruption. Examples of these unusual conditions include fail flame failure, loss of water tube failure, sudden loss of the load, steam line failure, loss of electrical power, control malfunction. The exact order in which the valve control piece of equipment should be operated for the particular type of the failure should be stated in the Standard Operating Procedures valve with equipment should be marked on easy identification. Standard operating procedures may also be used to describe normal actions necessary to maximize the boiler and plant efficiency. 3-3. Daily Monthly Boiler Plant operation, Operating Logs. The Daily Boiler Plant Operating Log, DA Form 3995, Figure 3-1, provides a means of recording continuous data on the plant, plant boiler platform. The data on the form can be used to analyze plant operation as arranged for the use of over a 24-hour period, consisting of three 8-hour shifts. The entire is made of the column. Exam explanation for each of the column provided with the back of the form. The monthly operating log must be also be kept at each boiler plant in addition with the daily log. DA Form 3967, shown in Figure 3-2 is a standard for, um, form for reporting monthly boiler plant operations date contained in the daily log is compiled at each end of each month and reported on monthly log. 3-4 inspection. A boiler is subject to damage and must be must be periodically inspected qualified inspectors to ensure that it's safe operating condition. Boiler must be made and inspected as required in AR 420-49. Details included the Chapter 5. Daily operation requires operating to be aware of the normal operation to perform daily inspection to ensure the equipment of the operating properly and safely. And normal operation should be logged and reported. Applicable codes. The following codes provide with the rules and practice guidelines, safety effect, of operating boilers and boilers accessory. The American Society of Mechanical Engineers Boiler Vessel Code Section 6 recommended rules for carrying and operation of a heating boiler. AS American Standard Mechanical Engineer Boiler Pressure Vessel Code Number 7 recommended addition for the care of power boilers. The National Fire Protection Agency National Fire Codes National Fire Protection Agency 85A Standard Prevention Furnace Expansion of Fuel Oil Natural Gas Fired Single Burner Burner Furnaces. National Fire Protection Agency, National Fire Code, F, um, NFPA 85B, Standard Prevention of Furnace ex, um, Explosions and Natural Gas Fire Multiplied Multiple Burner Boiler Furnaces. National Fire Protection Agency, National Fire Code, NFPA 85D, Standard Prevention of Furnace Explosion, Oil Fired Multiple Burner Boiler burner boiler furnaces. National Fire Protection Agency, National Fire Codes, National Fire Protection Association, 85E Standard Prevention Furnace Explosion, Pulverized Coal Fired Multiple Burner Burner Furnaces. All right, and then one National Fire Protection Agency, National Fire Code, NFPA 85F, Standard Insulation Operating Pulverized Fuel System. All right, three six. Um, basics, uh, basic for comments. Chapter three discuss the operational equipment that has been described in chapter two. Operational recommendations made for steam and hot water boilers in capacity less than two hundred thousand pounds per hour of steam and less than two hundred fifty million BTUs per output. Your commandments are general. Based upon the steam boilers producing saturated steam, although in some cases the special difference noted with the hot waters, the American Society of Mechanical Code Section 5 and 7, and FPA, uh, sorry, 6, 6 and 7 FPA standards, um, 85 series manufacturer operating maintenance instructions should be carefully considered. Additionally, to the following text, safe, reliable operation dependent on large exist extent of the skills and activeness of operation maintenance personnel. Operating skills require knowledge of the fundamentals, familiarity, equipment, and stability, background, and training experience. All right, um, let's look at these pages now. 
Uh, this is your um, daily boiler plant log, uh, figure 3-1. Your facility engineering operating log, monthly by monthly bo bo boiler plant operating log. And we'll go back to 3-7. Alright, 3-7, preparation for startup. Specific standard operating procedure should be prepared and followed with the preparing of the boiler startup in general. Before lightning and any fire in the boilers, following setup should be made instrumental. Check all the instrumental, if possible, operating control devices to provide approve operation freedom of movement and function with limit switches checking the boiler pressure gauge check the cock is open internal inspection check all the personal load tools and have been removed from the boiler inspection furnace walls boiler tube flues to firm confirm that they have been cleared of slag suit and deposits which could uh, act as um, insulating reducing heat transfer and boiler efficiency slag salute and should be removed the doors um and openings are closed. Combustion equipment. Inspection and testing operation combustion equipment without lighting a fire. Can carefully inspect the stroker, the burner, and their accessories help to prevent the forced outages. Fuel supply. Check the fuel storage supply um, storage system to ensure that there is enough fuel to meet the boiler requirements for, for solid fuel. Check the fuel level in the hopper as well as the as, as to its size, moisture, and content. For oil, measure the quantity of fuel oiled by a sticker gauge to ensure the volumes are properly aligned. Necessary pump and regulating valve are in operation. Check the fuel oil is available with the required pressure and temperature. If the atomizing air, uh, air and steam is required, kind of configure conform and availability. For gas and fuel, check the correction gas by pressure and valve of the position for any of the series of gas leakage and piping of the valves. Water supply. Ensure that the adequate supply of treated feed water is available with the proper temperature. Check the level and temperature water storage tank for the air air. The aerator took the valve alignments and boiler feed water's pump availability. G water column and gas gauge gla class um, glass. Check the operation close the blow off valves, water column, gauge glass drains, and gauge cocks. Ensure the gauge glass is clean and well lit. Under un open the drum of the vet and drain the valve between the header and the non return valves. Open the feed water valve and make the water in slowly until the water is just below the center line of the gate. Gauge glass, blow down the water column, operate with the tricock, further check the water level to ensure that these appliances are in good working condition. If provided with the check operability of lower water fuel cutoff on forward circulation, hot water boiler starting circulized circulation pump, the um, proof of the water um, flow switch is provided proper proof of the switch operation shutting off valve with the restarting of the pump H1 boiler safety control clean this fl flame scanner lens for that has been provided check the limit switches to prove operation I furnace the purge furnace bank plant the furnace boiler bank e economizer air heater ducts and pollution equipment must be adequately purged purge before starting a fire Caution. Many disastrous explosions are caused by failure to vent with the furnace and setting um, completely before attempting to start in a fire explosive mixtures of the air and gas may accumulate and ignite. And if a fire is started without first venting in the furnace and setting to avoid the danger on the open stack dampers, open the necessary fans and dampers to purge the furnace attached to the equipment. The purge air should be sufficient to provide an adequate velocity with clear dead spot to enact pockets of the sweep of the entire unit. Purge airflow rates are 25 to 75 percent purge times or 3 to 15, 5 minutes, 8 or 8 air changes are considered adequate, adequate boiler must be purged after accidental ignition. 3. Starting, the fi starting fire. After completing the preparatory steps of the outline of the combustion equipment that may be started with the manufacturer recommendation, equipment in the startup should be reviewed and carefully filed with each of the type of equipment and, fu and fuel. General recommendation provided below the hand firing coal would ensure the ashes and clinkers are removed from the gate grates. The lump of the coal is available to spread layer within 3 to 6 inches of the thick of the gate and grates. Prevent fines from the sifting throughout when the ash content is the coal is low under the 7% speed. Spread about um, an inch of ash grate before the introducing coal. Spread the dry wood, shaving the living coals with adjacent boiler to the top of the coil. Gasoline, naphtha, naphtha and highly flammable liquid should never be used in kindling, partially only because the stack damper ash pits to introduce airflow through the furnace. Lighting a kindle, leaving the fire partially open and emit air over the fire and reduce the smoke. To, after the fire started, regulate the damper ash pit doors and minim maintain the draft accelerating combustion. And supply additional coal is required and control the rate of the combustion regulating the air flow through the fuel bed B the stroker firing coal to start a fire mechanically stroker supply the coal to the furnace operating with the feed mechanism shoveling the coal into the furnace place enough the coal in the furnace to cover all the turries and underfeed with the stroker in the depth of the six inches or greater 
of the, or the greatest of spread stroke about two inches. Place wood shavings, candle over the top of the coal, open with a stack damper, operate the inducer fan, maintain a slightly negative furnace pressure to may, remove the product with the combustion lighting shape with the regulated with the draft required with the keeping the fire in some plants. Fires must be also started with live coals from another furnace as soon as the coal burns freely, operated force draft fan and regulate the airflow of the furnace with the blast gate and damper the control of the rate of the explode combustion. If the boiler heat is up to rapidly uh, operate fans lower rating to stop them to short them do not add more coal to the furnace until the fire burns free the never steam net when when neither steam nor electrical power is operated to operate a fan or stroker feel the coal hands by the use of the natural draft until the steam pressure is high enough to open an auxiliary equipment See pulverized coal firing. When fi firing pulverized coal, procedures outlined in FBA standard 85E and 85F. Reference for the plant is a specific standard operation procedure. <laughs> for additional information, reference to Naval Manual 205 and Army Second. Society and, um, Society, American Society of Mechanical Engineer Code for the um, seven. Oil firing. Oil firing produces vary with the type of the burner controlled fuel oil with some of the plants. Number two, fuel oil pressure, steam atomizing burner, automatic control, electrical spark ignition mode for the arm. Army installations use number four, five, and six fuel oil for the either the manually or semi automatically automatic in ignition procedures. In either procedure, important step of the boiling, purging the boiler furnace, the ignition delay with the intermediate to determine the cause to correct the problems. One, preheat the fuel oil. He heavy oils number five and number six and sometimes four require heavy heating to reduce the oil of the cost to the point where the pump is practically additional heating oil may also be required with the optimizing atomization pump at the burner furnaces. Manufacturer Vicasi recommendations should be followed. Steam electrical tank caters are used to heat the oil to a temperature of ninety degrees to one hundred and ten degrees Fahrenheit with the oil preheat some supplying additional heat with necessary to determine the amount of the pre -temp preheat temperature necessary to give the oil consult with the burning manufacturer for the initial recommendation. Expiration is also necessary to determine the temperature of the works best for the particular insulation, 100 to 300 say bolt seconds. Universal or SSUs. Vicosity is usually desired in number five and number six fuel oils. Number four may also be needed preheating depending on the type of the atomizer burner and partic partic particular oil. No, number two oil rarely needs preheating, but, but outside storage and cold climates may be necessary preheating the room storage. Lighting burners. Before lighting off a burner, always check the proper oil pressure, temperature, atomizing air, and of the, or steam pressure. Merge the unit and establish the flow of the suitability, suitability of the light, uh, light, light off. The manual light and oil burner insert a lighted torch adjacent with the oil atomizer, emitting the oil of the atomizing steam at the low fire rate. The try trial ignition of the main flame should be not longer longer than 15 seconds. The trial of the ignition, ignition flames move with the torch and report urge the furnace before trying again. The torch on the saved light burn oil burners can be made with the iron rod of one quarter inch pipe and suitable length. Wrap 10 inches of the rod closely with the cloth. Secure the cloth with the wire. Store the torch in an oil container made from two to three feet length or three inch pipe so that it's saturated with oil read and ready for in instant use. To light the torch, remove it from the container. Ignite the oil saturated saturated rag after the burner has been lit extinguish the torch and immersing the oil container leave the torch position and the future uses Gas igniters and pilots usually um, use to light off, off modern light oil burners. Ignition igniters typically use electrical spark to ignite the gas. If the igniter flame is, is seen by, by the flame scanner with a 10 second trial with ignition, oil safety shutoff valve is open either manually or automatically. The oil control valve should be low fire position, often in, interlocked. In this position, 15 seconds after the oil shutoff valve is open, the inner igniter is shut off. The flame scanner will ste uh, still seem to cease flame. The burner will continue to operate. If no main of the main flame is seen at this time, shut off the valve. The shutoff valve is closed. The shutoff valve is closed. The boiler should repurge re before second try. For ignition is made less main flame. Other safety interlocking limits shown in Figure 248 and 249 will result in safety shutdown and burner. High energy sparks and igniters is not being applied to the sum of the oil fire burns. The igniters eliminate with the gas igniter directly igniting the oil with a low voltage, high amperage spark. Operational sequence is similar to the above, except the igniter trial for the ignition period is eliminated. 
So yeah, main, maintain a small, stable flame adjacent with a combustion airflow, oil flow, furnace draft, insufficient air is likely to cause the smoke, while too much air can cause flame to blow away from the burner. By experimentation, the proper fuel and air ratio for light off and for the cold furnace should be determined for each of the individual boilers. The burner control manufacturer recommends lighting off procedure and semi-automatic operations should be rigidly followed. Step-by-step -step instructions should be posted in convenient places near the burner. Gas firing. The ignition of the gas burner are always accomplished with the gas igniter flame scanner with the flame um, safeguard with the control of the purging of the bottom from boiler is required by the board as a trial ignition. Proper gas pressure should be available the igniter main burner and the gas control valve control should be at uh, its low fire position. The semi-automatic light off sequence is identical to the oil burners except for the trail of the, the, for the ignition main flame is only 10 seconds. Loss of flame and boiler burner limits as shown in figure 40, 249, and 250. Will result in shutdown of the burner. The boiler furnace must be um, purged, repurged before the new trial of ignition may be attempted. All right, warm up time. The time required for the um, to a, to bring a boiler under the line pressure of the temperature depending on many things, including size, type of the boiler, operating pressure, and the temperature and the combustion equipment. Where there is not equipped with a super heater, manufacturer's detailed instructions should be followed to minimize thrush, thermal stress of the boiler heaters up and expand. In the general, boilers out of service long enough to cool down the room to a room temperature require the one to two and a half hour each for the reach line pressure. In a new boiler, one of the extensive repairs front of setting will being replaced and served with sufficient time. Must be allowed for the brickwork to dry out. Operating boiler at low fire for several days before it actually placed in service. If the boiler is equipped with a superheater, take extra precautions to prevent it from overheating the fire low rating during the warm up period, allowing a small amount of steam to flow through the superheater. Leave the outlet drain from the superheater uh, open so that some of the steam flows through the tube as, you, as pressure builds up. The steam will help kill the superheater metal and prevent tube damage. All right, 310, placing a high-pressure steam boiler in service. When water in the drum begins with the boil, the steam discharge with the drum vent with the boiler pressure reaches the 215 PSI gauge. Um, sorry, 225 PSI gauge. If all the air have been removed, the vent should be closed. If the boiler does not have the vent in the gauge cocks to allow the air to escape, carefully observe the fire with the pressure increase with the maintain minimum stable firing condition and firing rate too higher on the multiple multiple burner boilers should offer the sum of the burners rotate operation of the burners to promote over a uniform heating of the firing rate. Is too high or on a stroke. Stroke or fire burnt, burnt boiler should be furnished in draft fan for the period operating with the natural induced draft only. Control water on control of the water level. Observe the water level frequently during the warm up period. Increase the temperature of the formation of steam, causing the boiler to um, water to expand. To avoid the high water level, start the boiler with the water level just above the lowest safest level. If necessary, open the blowdown valve to remove the water to prevent high level conditions. Checking safety valve. The safety valve should be tested periodically and hand lifted, hand, hand lifting them. Do with, do this when steam pressure in the boiler is at least 75% of the set pressure for the low safety valve. Carefully should be taken to behold the valve open with a wide release the handle lever blade briskly so that the valve closes and with a snap. At intervals are required to authorize inspector. The safety valve must be tested, raising the boiler pressure to see the pressure of the safety valve to ensure that the pops and resets correctly. If the safety valve fails to operate, do not attempt to freely free it by striking the body or other parts of the valve. If the safety valve leaks or fails to operate properly, remove the boiler from the service immediately, repair the replace the valve, checking the safety valve, raising the pressure for the boiler must be uh, being under the direct supervision of des designated qualified employee. See operation of heat header header valve. When placing a boiler in two separate the care must be taken to avoid water water hammer and expansion stress associated with a large temperature differential when other boilers are hard are on a header or already operating steam line with the boiler being started must be brought with the temperature operating bypass drain valve to create the flow of steam through the from the header with the line with the temperature pressure for the header gauge valve may be open wide bypass closed for the non return visual valve should be open twenty five percent position until the boiler starts to supply steam header for the after that it must be fully open. In the absence of the non-return valve, the boiler stop valve should be opened slowly to the pressure of the boil land boiler land header and are approximately equal. If the boiler is being put into service of the header, which was not under pressure, the desire to warm up both the boiler and steam line header together in case that on both stops stops no return valves and make sure that the steam header drain valves are open to remove any condensation forms. Active controls when the boiler is producing steam properly connected with the header place with the feed water and combustion control and the automatic operation in accordance with manufacturer recommendation and instructions. 
311, placing a hot water boiler in service. Um, the following general procedure should be followed with this. Placing a single light, um, low temperature water, high water, te high temperature water boiler into service procedure also included place additional boilers into service multiple boiler prop insulation. Procedure for single boiler. When starting after layup, the procedure proceed as follows. Review the manufacturer recommendations. Start with the burner and boiler. Fill the boiler and, and system vent at a high point in the system. Check the altitude gauge and expansion tank and show the system to ensure the system is properly filled. Set the control switch to off position. Make sure the fresh air of the boiler room is unobstructed. Manual dampers are open. Check the availability of the fuel vent combustion chamber to remove unburned gases. 8. Clean the glass flame scanner if provided. 9. Observe the proper function of the water pressure regulator. Turn the circulating pumps on electrically. 10. Check the temperature control for proper setting. 11. Check the manual reset button. Lower water temperature cut off. High temperature control. Set the manual fuel oil supply. Manual gas valve to open position. Place the circuit breaker in the fuse disconnecting. The fuse disconnect and on position Place the all boiler emergency in, uh, switches on on. Place the boiler control switch starting switch in on or start position. Do not stand in front of the boiler doors or breaching. 16. Do not leave a uh, burner unattended until it reaches established cutout point to ensure that the control is shut off of the, the burner. During the temperature of the pressure building period, walk around the boiler frequently to observe the so all the associated equipment piping and the function properly. Visually check the burner with the proper, co in proper combustion. Immediately after the burner shuts off, inspect the water temperature. Open the highest vent to determine the system is completely full of water, enter the into the logbook. Date, time, and start air, any irregularities observed or corrective action taken. Time with the control, when controls shut off and the burner at established temperature test performed, etc. 8. Ignition operator 20. Check the safety valve with the revolved re evidence performing the trial of the lever test. Re re reference exhibit C. American Sustain Sustain Society of Mechanical Engineers Code Section 6. Recommended rules for care and operating heating boilers. B. Action is causing abnormal conditions. If any abnormal conditions occur during the light of the temperature buildup and immediately open emergency switch, do not attempt to restart the unit until difficulties have been identified or corrected. C. Placing additional boilers into service. When placing a boiler on line with, the bo with other boilers when already in service, to start the boiler using the above procedures, but have, so, but have it supply and return stop valves closed, but bring the, burning, bring the second boiler to the same temperature as the operating boiler. Partially open the supply valves. If there is no unusual disturbance, such as a noise, vibration, etc., continue to open the valve slowly until the fully open. Open the valve in the return line. Caution when the stop valve the, at the boiler output is cl closed. The stop valve on the return line at two of the boilers must so also be closed. All right, section two, operating adjustment and procedures. Boiler operation. Basic boiler operation consists of supply of fuel to generate the steam and hot water required for the system to man the supply air of the correct portion of the efficient burner of supply. The rate of fuel to feed use to maintain the steam pressure. Water temperature may be controlled either manually, automatically, and supplying air from the burn to the burner furnace must be quantity the main, but the point of application for the optimum combustion must be considered other faucets of the boiler operation, including feed water supply, which must be introduced proportionally to the quantity of steam discharge operation pump fans, damper valves, controllers, fuel handling equipment, all of which was used to maintain proper flow of materials from the boiler. 313. Maintain pressure of the pressure or temperature. Pressure gates indicate the difference between the pressure on the inside boiler and atmospheric pressure. Pressure on which the square inch of the inner surf internal surface is expressed as the pounds per square inch or PSI gauge. With the um, For steam pressure, uh, steam boilers, the pressure gates indicate that the firing rate properly adjusted if the rate state of flow from the boiler increases the pressure drops because of the heat is required or carried by away for the faster making a supply with the firing rate be, must be increased. If the steam flow decreases the pressure increased with the firing rate must be decreased the hot wire blower the temperature gauge when it was used to indicate the proper firing rate if the boiler output outlet temperature falls below the set point and the firing rate needs to be increased if the outlet temperature rise above the set point the firing point Firing rate must be decreased if manual control is being used. The operator note change the pressure, temperature, adjust the fuel and air supply accordingly. Automatically combustion controls are discussed in paragraph 226. Sense pressure of the temperature change with automatically adjusted fuel air supplies. Automatic systems relieve operator and tedious continuous adjusting necessary with each of the, each change of the demand. 314. Feed water and boiler water treatment. Feed water must be supplied to the boiler at an acceptable temperature to avoid thermal shock and the excessive stress on the boiler pressure part. The water must be as also treated with the minimized corrosion scale information in the boiler. The distribution system optimizing heat and transfer with the boiler efficiency reference to Chapter 4, which discusses... Feed water treatment and boiler water treatment principles, equipment, chemical operation, procedures, testing, records.
Our 315 controlling feed water. Hot water boilers operate with a constant feed water flow rate. Does not require feed water controlled water flow. Steam boilers may be regulated so that one pound of water replaces each pound of the steam generated with gas, ga ga gas gla gauge glass. Tricox and other water level indicators are used for the guys controlling water, water flow with the boiler. The visible water level is always not true, indicated with the amount of water in the boiler because of the steam bubbles. As well as the water and contained with the water space for the cause of the water to swell with the steam rate and decrease, decrease the amount of steam bubbles to increase the water shrink the water level drop the tendency of the water level to vary steam rating known as the swelling or shrinking. Swelling or shrinking must be taken in consideration conforming water flow with the flow of the varies properly steam output the type of the feed water controls available discussed in paragraph 225 the most feed water control the army boilers. They are the uh, single element since only water level, the, although the, the, you do a very good job in the, uh, on most boilers, they cannot compensate for the swell shrinking. Swell shrinking becomes properly problem two or three elements feeders control the availability to provide improved control. 316 boiler steps accessories operating procedure water columns gauge glasses safety valve blow off lines suit blowers are outlined below water column gauge glass if the water level is too low the boiler may be um, may be severely damaged by overheating if the water level is too high the water may be carried out with the steam resulting in a damage to the engine turbines causing deposit form of the piping the valves and other equipment of gauge glass the tricox high and low level alarms gave various indicating recording devices are used to guide but the maintaining proper level they should the gauge glass and the the tricox are most reliable should be for the final check when the various de devices disagree. One, removing sediment. Sediment collection in the water column and then time the obstruction connection so that the gauge glass and tricox do not show up at the correct level. Sure, correct in the case of the water column, gauge glass must be blowed down regularly once per shift and this is the recommended interval. Lines from the boiler drum is indicated the recording device shall be should be blown. Um, down daily. Leaks. Properly repair the leaks of the pipe valve of the ga gauge glass to avoid falls on uh, water level and indication valves. Open the gauge glass has valves at the bottom and bo both at the top and they open. Top of the bottom hand operated valves. Usually they supply with the chain operation so that the glass breakers operate with the clean, uh, clean close of the valve and avoid dan danger for the burning with escaping steam hot water. Same gauge glass valves are automatically closed by rushing steam water into the glass breaker to determine the type of the valve deployed with the gauge glass decided in advance to do with the cause of breakage. Re um, replacement of the gauge glass to replace a broken gauge glass remove all the packing nuts packing broken pieces of the glass insert new glass in a uh, new glass and packing tighten the bake packing nuts carefully turn up or see stand stem valve first and then the heat with the new for glass uh, glass uniformly Gauge, gauge goggles and wire mesh canvas screen should be provided with the first um, putting of the pressure in on the gauge glass. Five, the valves in the column water co valves in the water column. If the valves are supplied with the lines that drum water to the column, they must be sealed by locked or locked open. B, safety valves. Safety valves are designed to remain hidden close to uh, under normal operation condition. If the low drop of the fuel supply is not adjusted read quickly enough, the safety valve opens. Receive the di uh, increased pressure opening. The safety valve just causes the discharge of steam hot water in the atmosphere result for the lowest tank heat. Uh, Although it may be assure, assumed that the original safety valves were sufficient capacity, large capacity is required when the coal-fired boiler is converted to oil or gas firing. One adjustment. A safety valve normally requires two adjustments. Piping pressure for the blowdown of the boiler operating with the pressure at 250 PSIG. Below the popping pressure be adjusted for the over the range of 10% above the below the pressure of the valve that's designed. Varying the compression of the valve spring. The new spring must be installed with the desired adjustment to extend it to 10%. Blowdown is varied beans for the adjusting ring. The boiler pressure vessel code requires that the safety valve be adjusted to close the blowdown nut. Not more than 4% with the set pressure, but not less than 2% ESI. It requires the blowdown not to be less than 2% pressure the, between 100 and 300 PSI. Lift your uh, levers provided to lift the valve. Manually check the action blowdown or dirt away from the seat. When they're using the lift the lever, the blowdown pressure should be at least 75% of the set pressure. They use the lever to test safety valves in 30-day intervals to ensure that the valve disc does not stick to the seat. Once a year, the, it should be made actually raising the should, Raising the boiler pressure, check the valve set, ceiling setting and blow down. When lifting levers, you raise the valve disc sufficiently to ensure all foreign materials blown out and blown down from around the seat. This will help to prevent the leakage from the valve closed with the adjusting seal, but the safety valve should be performed and properly trained with the authorized personnel, such as qualified boiler inspector factory representative in case the emergency director of the energy engineering houses may authorize installation personnel who are thor thoroughly, thoroughly familiar with the safety valves to make adjustment. 
Two, hydrostatic testing caution. Um, testing clamps and ga gags um, are often used to hold the valve disc and seat during the hydrostatic test. When, when, when this is done, ensure the clamps are not tightened as the damage of the valve stem may, uh, may occur. Alt Always take every precaution to ensure that the clamps are removed as soon as the test is completed. Never use the test clamp to gag valve that is leaking. Three capacity. The capacity of the safety valve must be sufficient to discharge of all the steam generated by the boiler, while allowing the pressure to rise from more than six percent above the, uh, the minimum allowable working pressure. The capacity may be checked from closing the steam outlets, forcing the fire to the maximum. If the pressure builds up to more than six percent, additional valve capacity is needed. Safety valve capacity for each of the boiler must not be less than minimum American Society Man mechanical engineer boiler pressure vessel code requirements shown in Table Two One. When the charging of the coil oil gas fire, do not overlook the increased safety requirements capacity check. Must be authorized and facility engineer made under the direct supervision of designated qualified employee as an authorized insurance inspector or its factory representative. All right, blow off lines. All boilers are equipped with blow off lines. The lowest point of the water system the lines are necessary to drain also to help um, control the concentration of solid sludge and concentration to determine the analysis of boiler water should be routine while part of the operating procedure blow down specific quantity with water each time, usually a few inches of the mesh with the gauge glass frequency blow downs based on the result of the water analysis. Blow down pressure. Once the um, open with a quick oh, quickly once open quickly and the valve cock first, this will uh, the open will slow to open the valve fully and open, uh, until the required quantity of the water is discharged. Do not open the valve so too rapidly. Or do stress and damage the blow off pipe. The connection may result blow down when the boiler is banked and streaming at a low rate is most effective. Re removing sludge and solids. Bottom of the blow off connections must be used to remove the sludge. Our continuous blowdowns are for the type of the blow off connection are provided with the most steam boilers and when you the continuous bases are most effective. An economical means of the controlling device and dissolved solids resolves um, recovering some of the heat blowdown water that can be accomplished with a heat exchanger if the continuous blowdown is used. The bottom blowdown valves can should be used still be used in intervals to prevent them from blow, becoming stuck and otherwise inoperative. Remove the sludge. The quantity frequency manual blowdown is determined to the degree with the sludge actuates the mud drums and headers. More complete discussion of bottom um, blow um, bottom blowdown continuous blowdown is given in paragraphs four C four four C and four four D. With four, 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 C, and four, eight. Suit blowers. Flue gas carries ash and suit with an act uh, acts as an ins insulator within the deposit of the boiler heating surface to reduce the rate of the heat transfer. The extent of the suit deposit depends upon the fuel burn. Completeness of the combustion rating with the boiler operated when the coal fired boiler is operated with a high rating with such ash slag may be deposited in the tube, but as such of the extent of the gas flow restricted with the draft flow lost through the boiler increase one oil fired some boiler seldom bush build up enough ash to restrict the gas and the heat transfer efficiency can be effective. Several, several clearing methods are discussed below. All right, one swinging pipe suit blow. The fire tube boilers with the clean with the operation means with the steam jet operated with the outside of the boiler setting steam is applied with the pipe with the swinging pipe with the suit blower with the steam jet directly with the boiler tube. The suit blower is rotated with the direct jet into each tube. After completing the blower, blow operating blowing operation, the suit blower is moved with the completion with the wear protected with the heat and glass. The fire tube boiler tubes is cleaned daily. Two long handled brushes. The swing type um, swinging pipe suitable suit boilers, fire tube boilers convenient with them but are not satisfactory when the boiler tubes are long. Suit may can be efficiently removed with the tube. The fire tube boilers with a long handled brush. Brush should be the be large enough thin enough to pass through the tube. Frequency clearing where depending upon the operation conditions, go ghouls, resp respirator protection equipment should be used to cleaning the boiler tubes. All right, mechanical soup blowers. Uh, many of the water tube blower, bo bo boilers are supplied with mechanical soup blower. There should be operated once every eight hours with an internally di 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 dictated operating experience. They operate with soup blowing open the piping shaft to drain first, then slowly open the valve stem to admit, admit the steam. Complete preheat and drain, drain piping system before admitting steam. Soup blowers elements a small quantity with the water introduced with the hoot. So, uh, soup blower elements can be considered with damage. The drain valves may be throttled but not be closed. While the elements are being operated, the increase the draft and the blow other furnaces should be during the suit blowing period to prevent the smoking to carry away the material removed from the tubes. Suit blower elements are operated with a hand wheel or a chain. In some cases, by an electrical motor. 
As the element is rotated with the automatic valve openings and mid steam, two rotation elements are usually sufficient. More rotations only result in wasted steam. Rotate the element slowly. Maximum effort start the suiting blowing sequence near the furnace. Progress toward the boiler outlet. Hand lance. If mechanical soup layers are not available, the current being used, the hand lance must be employed. A particular practical hand lance could be made from a section of one and a half inch pipe of suitable length attached to the hose. Supplied at 100 pounds of pounds of 100 psi air pressure. You when using the hand lance, carefully must be exercised to prevent damage to furnace walls and baffles. 317. Coal firing procedure. Procedure firing coal hand firing the under stroker, um, underfed stroker, speed stroker, traveling gate, great stroker file. Procedure pulverized coal firing may be found in the manufacturer's instruction. Navy Manual MO205, Volume 1, Number Chapter 3, Section 19 and 20. Fluidized bed firing procedures may be found in the manufacturer's instruction. Hand firing. Methods of firing by hand is followed. Choking. Choking always times escape of the volatile gas before the gas is placed directly in the fuel bed. Um, final. The f first place coal in the dead plate with the radiating heat caused the um, gas is dis uh, sealed off. These gases make a mix of the secondary air come from the first damp of the first, first fire door burn as they process the hot fuel bed coal um, cook coat. Coke coal is later distributed over the fuel bed. This is the advantage of the method or um, at the smoke. Uh, smoke is produced in introduction with the cause of the ash burning cloak. Oak to mix and create clinkers the waste both time and the how time and flu. However, this method is um, firing may be successfully applied to small furnaces operating low rating. All right, alternate methods. Um, satisfactory combustion can be obtained by an alternate method of firing the layer of the green coal. Um, green coal is applied with one side of the furnace heat generated with the combustion opposite side caused by volatile gas to be distilled off and accelerated with the combustion. The ash pit door should be closed during immediately after the firing to reduce smoke to keep the fire open. But about one inch of for one to three minutes to supply the sufficient secondary air to allow the volatile gas to burn off. Despite these precautions, gas may still be distilled off more rapidly than it can be burned off, um, due to large surface of the green coal exposed. Three, the spreader method. The spreading fire consists of the distributing coal over the entire bed of the spot. Um, spots among observed bright appearance of additional fi um, furnace fire applied to keep the fuel bed um, uniformly thick when the correct use method is operation at high ratings. Be sure to come supply sufficient over fire um, air with the volatile gas with the quickly liberated the aggregation of the fuel bed caused with the ash to come back in contact with the hot portion of the fire form or link clinkers and if the coal is properly placed firing proceeds without restoring the aggregation of the fuel bed. All right, clinking hand firing furnace. The um, coarse pieces of the ash clinkers will generally not fall through the grates if they may be removed sufficiently short intervals of the air. The passage can be restricted and rate of the combustion reduced. One of the methods of cleaning the grates consists of the pushing um, burning coals against the bridge wall after that which the ash clinkers can be moved from the front and the method of the advantage of the being quick with the bolts does not remove all the ash. So I'm always remaining the bridge wall with more completely cleaning is accomplished by, by the side method which consists of pushing the good coal to one side of the furnace exposing the ash and clinkers but which are then readily removed. Burn coal is then moved to the side, which, is then, which has been cleaned. The remaining ash clinkers are removed when the shaking and the gray rates are employed. A greater percent of the ash may can be discharged for the ash pit, and then the work of the cleaning fires is um, marshal, um, materially reduced. Combustion rate regulation, hand fire furnace. The rate of the combustion is controlled by the quantity of the air passing through the fuel bed with efficiency combustion with the control with the quantity of the distribution over fire air. To regulate the rate of the combustion chain of the furnace draft, the controlling the stack damper with the fuel bed must be kept light six to eight inches so that the airflow is not retarded. It helps and holds develop the fuel bed with the airflow for the passive light, less least resistance and pass through the holes rather than an active portion of the fuel. Underfed stroking fire. The underfed strokers are made with coal through the underneath the burning fuel bed. Gas is still, uh, is still um, from the fuel passing through the bed to accelerate the combustion. Single retort. Underfed, underfed um, strokers are horizontal coal burning by being moved in the furnace distributed mechanical motion. Multiple at resort underfed strokers are inclined with the coal movement to cover the mechanical motion of forces of the gravity. One adjusting feed, adjusting the stroker feeding mechanism on the screw of the rams so the sort of coal is fed to meet the consumption requirements. If the stroker has an off and off on, on control, adjust the fuel and air so feed so that the stroker operates the most of the time. Adjust the coal distribution set mechanism secondary arm necessary to maintain the sufficient coal to fill the resort. If the fire burns back, the damage to the stroker after the damage ashes cover the end of the grates before adjacent to the dump grate, dump grates with the coal. The depth of the fuel bed above the retort, tories, the single retort with strokers varies from 
8 to 14 inches from 12 to 44 inches high rating multiple retour stroker the fuel bed if the fuel bed is thin, too thin increase the cool fuel cold fuel bed with increasing air until normal conditions are restored the fuel bed is irregular just, just, just the secondary feeding mechanism of the distributor many strokers in the dampers which vary with the supply with the air different zone the holes appear with the fire condition but may be corrected with reducing the airflow to the area if the fuel bed is correct they can for the rating of the change varying both of the air fuel supply Ash removal. Procedure removing the ash depends, um, depends on whether the stationary gates are dumping gates with the clinker grinders are used. In all cases, the most uh, burned coke through the before dumping the result of the ash pit may be passed through the coke and ash sometime before discharging. Do not introduce too much of the airflow of the loss, but the main result in the cleaning of the fires. Do not remove the ash from the grate bars. Instead, let move down the stroker action removal the next um, cleaning. Agation with clin uh, clinic linger formation underfed with the stroker's very amount of the agation could be in the fuel bed in some signs the force with the furnace and path the out of the stationary arteries and great and other mid parts of the move the ag aggregated with the burn fuel bed the strokers and some ply aggregation must be suited with the burning coals having extreme coking tendencies as movement tends to retard the coke information burning coal with low ash fusion temperature on the strokes cause of the clinker when the ash is pushed into the high temperature zone clinker is greatly accelerated with the stroke and is operated with the high ratings work the fire is a little possible to reduce the clinker if formation remove the clinkers and adhere the grates and sidewalls at once least possible aggregation and fuel bed. For air supply, underfeed strokers are operated with the relatively thick fuel beds required with the force of draft fan to supply the air. The wind box pressure varies from one to several inches, seven inches of water. But um, best results are usually obtained with the operating with a slight draft in the furnace. Regulate the wind box pressure with the supply of the required quantity of the combustion air. Regulated with the introduce of the draft fan sack with the damper produce the necessary draft to overcome resistance of the boiler. The draft regulation is often accomplished automatically. Operation lubricate all the moving parts. All moving parts are according to the manufacturer's instruction. Keep sufficient coal in the retort to prevent fire from reaching the section of the stroker. Do not permit ashes to fit in the fill the ash pan, ash pit, or inspect the wind box. The operating ship to remove the accumulation of the shift th shiftings when the bank of the boiler feeds sufficient coal. Then renew the coal supply as required during the loading of the banking period. The most frequency inspection of the stroker. The brickwork report unusual conditions so that reports can be made to be before equipment is seriously damaged. See spreader and stroker firing spreader and stroker try and permit the final coal particles in suspension. Um, the remainder of the coal grades the permit faster low with the response to reduce the clinker fan for formation sensor for the fuel bed with the grades and quick thin uh, quite thin coal inventory with the furnace less than one, only a few minutes to check the thickness for the fuel fuel bed by stopping the coal feed noting the rate of which the fuel with the grades burn with is the ash ready to dump but after three to five minutes thickness for the fuel bed is correct adjusting spread spreading spreading mechanism after spreading the mechanism uniformly thickness of the fuel over the grades to optimize the mixing of the fuel air but at the same time adjust the rate of the fuel and air feed with the correction of the portion of the effect of combustion. Effective coal size and operation. Um, spread type of the stroke is suitable with the burning coal with the burning particles larger than one and a half inch. The hinder operates for the feeding mechanism. The most efficient size of the coal is three and a quarter inch by zero with no more than 40% of the pass through the one quarter inch screen. Satisfactory results obtained with the size up to one and one half. The file of fine coal burns in suspension with large particles falling into the grates where combustion is complete. And with too much coal overloads the grates and passing through the bunkers, shoots and coal sometimes segregates um, in cores with the fine particles. If the cores, if if occurs, the stroker will burn par pra practically all fines at one time and all cores at another, resulting in variable inefficient operation. Number three, ash removal. Clean of the fire is regular, re regular intervals used twice a week, twice each operating ship. When ash from the three to six inches deep on the grates, the grates are divided deep, um, clean one of the zone at a time. Showing off the coal feed of the weight and to wait three to five minutes with the force draft fan uh, for the remaining coal to burn. Do not allow the bed to become too thick with the clinkers and well form. Remove the ash pit properly with the ash pit to prevent fires. For banking procedures, also, uh, also allow some of the accumulation ash grade for the banking spread to stroke over the reduced air supply adjusting the feed mechanism delivered the coal to the front stoker in order to build the fuel bed in the area to maintain slight draft in the furnace draft during the first time of the furnace's bank. 
five overfire draft. The best operating result of the usually obtained with the overfire draft is zero three um, three hundred zero seven hundred an inch. Reduce the air leakage to the minimum without causing the overheating of the furnace walls, doors, and the other parts of the subjection to heat. Drift the air supply so that it's just just sufficient to prevent smoking. This should um, result in approximately eleven to fourteen percent carbon dioxide fuel gas examined in flow through um, furnace, furnace frequently to ensure the not overheated low carbon dioxide ability to secure the property draft and through the boiler and often due to leakage of the boiler setting and maintain the flue gas temperature minimum level consistent with a good operation. Some pack type of the boilers are operated with the pre positive pressure on the furnace. The boiler should be operated with the course with the manufacturer operating instructions. Six operation. Examine the wind box periodically to keep it all uh, keep it clean. Check the operation of the feed mechanism to ensure the equal distribution. If wet coal um, sticks to the hopper, the push of the end of the feeder with a rod. Locate lubricate the bearings frequently according to the manufacturer requirements. Alright, D. Traveling great stroker firing. Traveling great stroker provides the means of the bearing very fine burning very fine coal with the coal having low ash fusion temperature. They are not generally suitable for the burning cake or coking coal. Um, control um, obtained with the very rate of the feet, either with the changing of the, of the thickness of the cool feet, ribboning of the stroker, and the changing of the right of the gate. With the methods of the employed with the with the trial of the state, suit with the skill of the individual operator, just the grade of the speed must be done with square. The usual speed of varies from two and a half to three and a half feet per minute. The fuel must be complete with its burn before it reaches the end of the grate of the prevent excessive carbon loss of the each of the pit. pit. So this is burning linking on the ends of the indication of an applicable amount of burning combustion is passing over the refused end of the stroker. However, if the fuel is burned too um, too far before the end of the grate, too much but or air will be emitted through the undercover, undercovered grate. An excessive quantity of the heat carried with away from the flue gas the condition can be determined. Observation flue gas analysis, additional regulation fuel bed level obtained with the use of section air control dampers under stroke of the use of dampers reduce the supply of air but the section note that the ash has a low fusion temperature excessive aggregation of the fuel fed can result in checking clinker formation one air control traveling great um, strokers are the most um, are used in either natural or forced draft boilers, but the motor, motor modern units being almost forced draft type of the forced draft type of the necessary use of the fine coal and group the resistance of the fuel bed when the grating openings of the small size greater control of the high rates combustion area are also obtained with the use of the forced draft operation and either the cause of the remains essentially the same the draft last losses through the fuel bed varies twenty five hundred sixty hundreds of an uh, inch water with the natural draft from one to four inches within the forest draft. Draft control over draft zero three hundreds or seven hundreds of an inch. Water should be maintained the minimum minimize the area overheating with the furnace wall doors and other parts of exposed heat. Stroking and storing coal do not segregate coarse and fine coal in bunkers or hoppers as it will result in irregular burning and holes in the fuel bed. For adjusting great tension, adjusting the tension with the great with tension screw for the back and back sprocket bearing. Adjusting the screw with the bull side of the unit of the chain with the great barb with the tight and loosening the screws slightly. Ledge pull, plate clearance. Uh, many truckers are supplied with ledge plate side with the preventing excessive air with the leakage. Serve the leach, ledge plate with approximately one eighth of an inch clear. If the proper clearance is maintained, excessive the air levels increase. Boiler efficiency reduce the banking procedure. The bank fire on the traveling gate rate stroke with all low. The fire with the burn down, um, burning down. It reduce the draft as the most possible. Introduce the bed coal approximately one foot thick. When the stroker should be returned, um, should be run ahead of the hourly intervals during the bank period. Frequently use the aim for operation depending on the rate of the burning is starting. The, from the bank of the brick of any coke, which is formed introduced for the air, allow the coke to burn weight until the furnace is well, well was walls are heated before resuming the normal operation. All right, 318 oiling fi oil firing procedure. Efficient operation of oil fire burners required with a careful oil storage, oil preparation, oil ban ban burner adjustment. Sludge control. Um, good bunkering practice to generally uh, reduce slug actuation, accumulation, storage tank out, but the occasional cleaning is necessary. When sludge reaches the level that may be entered the pub sunk section, selection line, the tank must be emptied when the sludge removed. The be most practical method of reducing sludge formation on the minimum is controlled, bunk by, controlled by bunkering. The consisting basically extending fill suction and returning lines and with 
one or two pipe diameters from the tank bottom, keeping the fill line with the opposite, opposite end of the tank from the suction and return line of the piping arrangement helps to prevent heavy sludge deposits and sweeping in the bottom of the storage tank in the sludge condition of the storage tank they aggregated by the lo- for the below by the following. 1. Return the tank of the overheated oil. 2. The maintain the temp- oil, oil temperature within the two high storage and causing separation of light and heavy subtractions. 3. Leakage of the groundwater into the tank. 4. Storing the oil tank with successfully long periods. B. Air leakage. Some, a small air leak on the pump suction line can be great, uh, cause a great deal of trouble. Such link can, uh, leaks can occur with the valve stem, screw, flange, fittings, and strain gas. It's tested should such as leaking and applying a small quantity of light oil joint with the part of the in question. The oil is drawn with the suction line leakage of the present. If the air does does go into the, get into the lines, should be released by the bleed points. If the bleed points are not available. Check the burner of operation closely until the air is completely cleared. Air coming through the burner may cause the fire to go out. If the air or the oil field through the resumed explosive ignition can occur from the hot furnace walls, do not allow oil storage tanks to be emptied to, le- to leave to the level where they are suction line may draw air that expect except for the necessary to annual annual cleaning. See oil strainers. Strainers are provided with the oil suction distribution pipe and the protecting the pump with the burning atomizer being pumped and declogged. Strainers remove the particle sludge from the oil with all strainers bag and baskets should be checked and cleaned with the once at least a week. Basically, the daily cleaning may be required with the heavy oils. Oil heating. Heating the oil and storage tank of the suction line before the transfer supply of the line. Do not heat the oil temperature which vapors are given off the vapor locking pumps and the un- unpredictable burner operation and can result dry. T- day tanks may be effectively used. Sufficient quantities of heated oil or circular air are circulated through the distribution head with the oil pre- portion of the oil used for the pumping and the heating set as part of the, in- part of the uh, insulation. Important to adjust the pressure control to maintain the constant oil pressure pressure. Recirculate the oil tank ahead with the haters. Heaters oil temperature control can be often improved by the reducing steam pressure, water temperature, oil heater. The is particularly important with the oil flows through the heater are less than design conditions. All right, oil temperature burner. The best oil temperature and atomizing dependent with the type of the oil for the burner for manufacturer recommendation. The burner manufacturer recommends the vigosity in which the operating typically range 30 to 150 SSUs. The recommend the pressure type of the atomizing 33, 35 to 250 SSUs for the steam air atomizer and 35 to 300 SSUs for the rotary atomizer. Atomizer with low excess for the air burner, burner may require an 80 to 125 SSU range from the number 4, number 5, and number 6 oil preference. Paragraph 14B, table 1, 2, and table 1, 3 for the Further information, figure 3.3 illustrates the typical viscosity limits for the various oil of the function of the temperature. The chart can be also used to plot the viscosity curve of the particular oil with semi legothoric graph paper may be used. Viscosity of one temperature is shown with the curve of the plot with the assuming the slope of the line is sampled the standard codes. Example is shown in figure 3.3 how the blending of the oils common daily is best known with the viscosity is two different temperatures. Draw a straight line through the two points but the viscosity temperature curve of the tone is the proper adding operating temperature range. Can be read, read on the chart. Maintain a constant and stable viscosity oil control valve. Also important to accurate control oil flow over the burner control range is maintained. Mo- most control systems do not compensate. The viscosity chain fuel air ratio becomes difficult. The viscosity is not constant. All right, here's a oil viscosity grade on um, various temperatures. You have 295 degrees to 325 degrees. Through um, several different lines for the number two, number four, number five, number four, number five, and number six oil. Um, the the say bolded second universals um, from forty two and forty two ten thousand. All right, F, oil, oil atomizing steam in the combustion air in the burner. The oil atomizing steam in the atomizing air combustion in the air must be supplied with the burner pressure with the recommended with the manufacturer. Oil atomizer use the steam in the air with the atomization. Normally maintain a different pressure with pressure, the pressure of the steam air with being um, above the oil pressure throughout the firing range. Atomizing steam lines should be well drained and trapped and tra- trapped and ensure that no water delivery of the steam. The combustion air must also be controlled with the pressure quantity necessary um, for complete and inf- efficient combustion. And the energy of the oil pressure atomizing steam air and air combustion air are also used to mix the fuel with the air efficiency combustion. 
Burner adjustment. Burner adjustments are also are necessary to ensure the atomized fuel and the combustion of the mix so they are complete with the deficiency. But position the atomizer diffuser and register baffles to adjust the optim optimized burner for performance. Some can, um, control some systems change, but the re register position automatically throughout the fire range for the move maintain with loss excess for the air levels. If automatic adjustment is not part of the Euro system, boiler load varies significantly over the year. Optimum burner adjustment for the low and high load ranges should be determined in the burner's control. Uh, adjustment accordingly. Daily operation oil burners should be inspected daily. Optimizers should be removed. Claim per manufacturer recommendation for number six. And oil firing may be daily procedure with the number two oil. Weekly cleaning is usually sufficient. Visual inspection burner flame furnace the condition should be made with the flame. Should be clean. Smoke smokeless or steady with the yellow, yellow to oil, orange color. There should be minimal, no flame impingement or furnace walls, no smoke sparklers or sparklers in the fires, no slanting hat laziness in the flame, no brilliant color or no brilliant color. If any of the other conditions exist, to check the excessive air oil levels, oil pressure, temperature, water, and oil itemizing steam, air differential pressure, burning adjustment, air, and the itemizer are aware and to take the corrective action request. Assistant fuel air ratio control discussed in paragraph 320. 319 gas firing procedure. Efficient operation gas fire operation burners require the proper gas handling, proper adjustment, pressure regulation. Gas is implied with the under the pressure of the strain of rate pressure regulating valve of the gas meter commonly supplied with the inlet valve. Inlet of the gas surface of the reduce the pressure by meter of the gas. Second gas pressure regulating valve is the supplier to maintain a constant pressure from the distributing pipe of the, into the burners. Accurate gas pressure regulation is important to the proper Function of the gas control valve is to maintain the proper fuel ratio. Gas distribution pressure should be checked at each shift. Higher high the normal gas pressure should reduce the amount of the excess air with the low pressure increase the excess air. B. Burner adjustment. Burner adjustments required to ensure the gas and the combustion air are complete with the most efficiently. The gas burner position, movable diffuser position, register baffle position must be adjusted to optimize the burner performance. In the specific burner, some control systems automatically change the register position throughout the burner firing range with the maintained low success with air level. The automatic adjustment is not part of the system. Boiler load varies significantly over the year with the optimum burner adjustment for low and high load range should be determined the burners and controls. Just accordingly. Daily operation gas burners should be inspected daily. A visual inspection of the flame and the furnace condition should be made. A traditional glass fumes, gas fumes and bang, being blue and yet or with the blue color with the yellow tips. However, the modern burner is designed for low excess year air and non nitric, nitric oxide control. And they um, vary with the um, control with the must be invisible with the luminescent yellow. The burner flame should be clean in the shade with the more impingent over the furnace walls. No smoke, flaring, impossibility, brilliancy, shortness, or flashback. If any of these conditions exist, check the excessive air level. The gas pressure and burner adjustment furnace pressure and take a corrective action and resistant resident request assistance as required fuel air ratio control is discussed in paragraph 320. Right, I'm going to see how long this goes on for.